Hi guys, Ryan here from Drum Set Lessons for Kids. Today I'm going to be teaching you and demonstrating how to play a basic jazz beat. Now in basic jazz, you always want to be counting to four, just like with basic rock and roll. Uh, you want to count out loud as you're learning this, always count out loud, I think that's very important. Keep your counting consistent and smooth. We'll start nice and slow like this. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Now right away before we play any notes, we want to be able to sort of count the rhythm of the jazz beat. So after two, we're going to add in the, the word and, and after four, we'll add in the word and. Sounds like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Like that. You've got to be able to do that and, and, and say that. Sometimes, as drummers, we call that singing the rhythm or vocalizing the rhythm. You've got to be able to make the, the rhythm happen with your voice before you can play it with your hands on the drums. So snap your fingers or clap your hands or stomp your foot or something to keep the beat and then make sure that you can sing this rhythm. One, two, and three, four, and one. Two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one. Now I'll play it. This rhythm is played by the right hand and we'll do it on the ride cymbal like this. Two, three, four. That's the real part of the jazz beat. Uh, the other part to it that's really important is to play a note with the hi-hat every time you say two or four. Now this note's played by the left foot, so you're going to clamp your foot down there on the pedal hard so that the cymbals come together and they close tightly, like that. You don't want to play it like this. Where they come back apart and they kind of splash and ring, you want them to, to you want it to be a quick, short note that's about as loud as you can get it with your foot. Okay, on two and four like this: one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Okay. Now make sure you can do both of those things alone, just the right hand by itself, just the left foot by itself. And then you can combine them like this. Two, three, four. So my tips for learning these beats with any beat is first, Count out loud. Make sure you can count out loud this, this jazz rhythm before you try to play it. Start slowly, like I'm doing right now, nice and slow. You can go even slower. You can go really, really slow. So slow it seems silly. That's fine if that's what it takes for you to just keep your counting consistent and even and smooth and have control over what you're doing. Once you get a little bit of control, you go faster. Just like riding a bike. Start slow. You figure it out, you can go wherever you want. Um, the other tip is to just make sure you try one thing at a time. Don't try to jump right in and do both. Um, once you've got that down, you can speed it up. Here, here's what it sounds like just a little quicker. It's gonna be my beat right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. <laughs> questions the way to contact me is to email drumsetlessonsforkids at gmail.com and I'll see you guys next time.